I went to Cabo in the middle of it to write lyrics, because, you know, the same old story. We did it the same way. We'd play the, a song, work up a, Ed, Alan, and Mike would work up a piece of music. I'd come in and hear it, scat to it, tell Don Landy was always running a cassette. A cassette was always going as well as, uh, you know, multi-tracks. Yeah. And I'd go, uh, after a vocal, where I'd make some lines up and I'd kind of sing some melodies that, you know, hadn't worked them out. I'd just scat and jamming. I'd just scat and jamming. And I'd say, Don, hey, save that one for me. Boom, done. And I'd take those tapes home, and I'd listen, and I'd hear what I was singing, and I'd hear a word or something that came out, and I'd say, ooh, that's a cool word. It works there, you know. Anyway, and I'd, so I went to Cabo with a bunch of, about four or five things, to finish up lyrics for a week. And um, the band stayed back and was working up other music, and, and I, I remember writing the words to Cabo Wabo. And I got called up Ed, and I said, make it last from Montrose, you know, Ed always liked that song. They, you guys used to play it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I said, just think, make it last. And I was going, I've been to Rome, Dallas, Texas. And he's going, listen, oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. He said, you know, Ed was always, uh, wait, 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 wait. He was, we call him Rewind all the time. He <laughs> said, whoa, 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 no, no, go back, go back, go back. So he, go, he he's, he's going, wait a minute, wait. And he picks up the guitar, he's going, ba -doo 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 -ba, ba -doo -doo -dang, gang, gang, gang. They had already worked that up. They had already recorded a fucking instrumental version of it, and I wrote those lyrics. I came home, got in, fucking picked up my microphone, read the lyrics to the track, and that's on an SM58, because I was just roughing, I was saying, well, see if it works. It worked so good, it was like one friggin' take, and I wrote those lyrics away from them, and they wrote the music away from me, and uh, came back, and it was like, perfect song. It I mean, right down right to every word. Yeah. I didn't change one word, I didn't do anything. That was, look, look, here we go again, <laughs> goosebumps. It, you know, once again, it was magic. We had fucking magic, man. But this, this version of this band had some of the most high level spiritual connection I've ever had with anybody on any level, not even music I'm talking about. I'm talking about spiritual connection that we had in this band uh, during this era, you know? And we take it right from the uh, studio, right onto the live, right onto the stage too. You know, it mm -hmm. was like, and that's 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 part of the beauty of just of having like guitar, bass, drums, vocalist. And old Sam would pick up guitar every now and then, you know, to play some stuff. But we'd all be able to just look at each other, and all of a sudden, take a left turn. Like, hey, let's go down this avenue for a little bit. Let's, hey, let's jam this. Let's go. Let's go into this. All of, you know, and everybody would be on the same page. And that's where this was invented. That's yeah. right. That's when. That's right. That's where that was invented. Right there. Right here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got yeah, pull that it. inner sleeve out. There you go. Boom. Boom. That means I love you. You know, this is I love you in sign language. So Mikey and I, yeah, at the we end decided, of the show, we were doing this. All of a sudden, one night, we just went like we that. We put them right together. On 51. We doubled 50, it up. And we that's said, right. yeah, we, and that's. We've been doing that ever since. That was born. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm. But <laughs> Shit, Mike. Good times, definitely good times. Okay.